So Lenovo is a uh, PC manufacturing company, uh, about 20,000 employees worldwide in 60 plus countries uh, with revenues just north of uh, 14 billion dollars. Uh, the biggest uh, piece of that was uh, Lenovo Domestic Company acquired the IBM PC division uh, about two years ago, which was an $11 billion acquisition, and now we're putting those two companies together to create a, uh, an outstanding PC and laptop manufacturer in the industry. When we acquired the IBM PC division, uh, the supply chain and the products and the processes and the systems that we needed to run a PC company uh, were, in fact, just not there. Uh, the IBM PC division was built onto a much different supply chain, had a much different set of solutions and technologies and capabilities that was not optimized for the PC division. So the first thing we had to do was to dramatically build a supply chain and drive costs out of the supply chain. Uh, year to date, we're driving almost $200 million of, uh, of uh, opportunities out of the uh, supply chain, both in terms of increased velocity, cost savings, optimization, and so forth. So, uh, you know, we have a tremendous uh, opportunity uh, to greatly enhance our supply chain. And I, too, uh, products, services, and candidly, uh, expertise in the industry has been a part of the process of helping us to uh, redesign our end-to-end -end processes, helping us to redesign our solutions around how do we do demand planning and how do we do demand shaping and link that to our supply optimization. Uh, and they've been instrumental in helping us and build our global supply chain. You know, from a CIO's perspective, one of the things you do is you want partners that help you solve your problems. So that when you go to sleep at night, you don't have to worry about these things when you wake up. And IT was fantastic in that way. So, you know, the, the, candidly, the, the smack in the face was, hey, you know, can we help you in solving these business metric problems? And, you know, my technical team was dealing with, you know, what the product is and the licensing issues, which was really six months after the initial conversations, candidly. So it was a combination of not just software, which you know allows us to link our supply and demand, but it really is how do you fix some of those key drivers that are driving complexities. All too many times companies implement an MRP solution or a demand planning solution. Don't fix the major components that drives bad information in. You take these systems, you speed up the cycle time, and you get bad answers out. So uh, when you look at, you know, how did we work with I2, it was more than just the software component of the product. It is looking at the processes, looking at the systems, bills and materials, our overall end-to-end -end processes, our business practices, and putting in a solution that allowed us to be uh, optimized and world-class. One key area for us is how do you get more out of the assets that you have? How do you get more out of the infrastructure, more out of the inventory, more out of the things that you do? Uh, part of that was around simplification. How do you make sure that as you introduce new products, you're not introducing more complexity into your supply chain? You're reusing parts. You're reusing bills and materials. You're reusing planers in your design. So that's one aspect of it. Second aspect of it is, you know, how do you reduce the complexities? We had over 100,000 SKUs within our system, and 100,000 SKUs, when you think about trying to manage the proliferation of parts to build a laptop or to build a desktop, it's extremely complex. We got that down to one. So if you think about the number of parts in a laptop times 100,000, you can think about the permeation and how difficult that is to manage. As you start to shrink that down, the number of SKUs, and as you start to shrink complexity down, you drive a lot of efficiencies. You drive cycle time efficiencies. You drive cash conversion efficiencies. You drive people efficiencies. You drive customer orders because they're now satisfied. They now can get it when, when they want the product. So you put all those aspects together, and you're driving significant cost savings uh, out of the uh, infrastructure and you can see our financials and our restatements in terms of uh, you know what we've been doing uh, over the years and it's been very significant. Uh, we have grown double-digit share uh, in all geographies around the globe. We continue to take market share away from our competitors. We continue to grow profitably. So uh, you know if you look at the the macro numbers and the trends in terms of what we are doing uh, in an industry that is extremely competitive, an industry that is extremely tight in terms of making sure your customers are satisfied on an everyday basis with the velocity that's in it, to be able to grow double digits uh, in terms of your share and in terms of your market is extremely outstanding. You know, So that drives behavior, it drives evangelists to say, yes, it does work, and in fact, there is some great opportunity here.